Well, sir, of course, uh, following the uh, command guidance of our, co our Commander in Chief, uh, President Ferdinand uh, Romualdez Marcos Jr., well, the difference of the approach to the, uh, we would like more, call, call it like more on the campaign against illegal drugs now. Of course, the, the three point approach would be the mapping and prevention, cure and enforcement. We're looking into the politics of this uh, illegal drug trade, uh, especially uh, the syndicates behind it. And of course, uh, we also want to focus uh, our efforts on prevention, rehabilitation, and the socioeconomic development side of, of uh, the drug problem. So, mas may tuon na rin po ang angulo sa part ng interventions for the victims of the illegal drug trade. Okay, now very quickly po, your reaction to Senator Bato de la Rosa saying that since President Duterte's term ended, eh, parang nagbalikan daw ang droga uh, sa mga uh, back, in the, back in the streets. Your reaction, is that, is that a fair and accurate uh, 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 portrayal of what is happening now and what's, what has happened since the change in government? Well, sir, we respect the opinion of the Honorable Senator, especially the fact that he's a former chief of the Philippine National Police. Uh, but at the same time, of course, uh, tand in tandem, in close tandem with the organization which he used to lead and other law enforcement agencies, PDA assures the public that we will remain on top of the situation and uh, do our best to control it and uh, reassure the public that the streets will remain safe. Uh, notwithstanding these uh, recent incidents, of course, uh, which are all unfortunate, sir, definitely. So you're looking, uh, you're looking at uh, the political side of this drug trade. Would you link this mm -hmm. with any of the killings and the shootings recently? How far does it go, as uh, you know, right now? Well, um, uh, the investigations on these incidents are being spearheaded by another law enforcement agency, particularly either the Philippine National Police or the NBI. So uh, as far as PDEA is concerned, we are focused on the uh, main mandate of the agency, which is, of course, being the lead in the national anti-drug campaign, uh, we, we will uh, rather focus our efforts on the intensification of the conduct of uh, intelligence-driven and high-impact operations, leading to the arrest of the members of the top tier or the top level of the drug syndicates, as ordered by the president. And, of course, uh, with the enhancement of, as well of our interagency collaboration to, to strengthen border control so that we can uh, prevent drug smuggling. But again, uh, we're not discounting any angle pertaining to the illegal drug trade in regard to these recent unfortunate incidents. There's one indicator, particularly uh, that which happened to the Honorable Governor of uh, Lanao del Sur. Uh, I believe there was, an, uh, there was an angle that was brought up uh, pertaining to the illegal drug trade in relation to that. But again, uh, this is still under investigation. Now. Hey, sir, you mentioned prevention, cure, um, enforcement, as well as rehabilitation. But in terms mm -hmm. of uh, operations-wise, how different will PDEA's approach be when dealing with the drug syndicates and not the street-level dealers? Well, we'd like to assure the public, uh, particularly our Director General, Moro Virgilio M. Lazo, has received direct orders from the President for the PDEA to focus on the top tier uh, of uh, the illegal drug syndicates. And... Uh, well, as we mentioned before, being smaller in number comparatively, uh, especially compared to our counterparts from the Philippine National Police, the PDA has always, in fact, focused our efforts really more on uh, the members of these illegal drug syndicates and their local counterparts in the country. Uh, that being said, we don't necessarily neglect the street-level anti-drug anti operations or the illegal drug activities involving street-level targets, but these are done more often than not, in tandem with the uh, territorial units of the Philippine National Police Mount. Mm. Sir, uh, we, we want to also yes. help monitor the success um, or, or mm. gaps or failures uh, or shortcomings of this war on drugs. But to that point, we'd like to understand what's the baseline data that we're using now. And I ask because, as you know, President Duterte insisted on his own baseline data, for example, in the number of drug users in the country. And to do that, he basically redefined the, the numbers that DDB was using. DDB was using a more conservative definition of a drug user. President Duterte wanted everybody included, including those who experimented once in their lives. 
So just to be clear, sir, anong data ang ginagamit natin ngayon as, as baseline? Are we still sticking to what President Duterte insisted or using? Or do we go back to the baselines of the 2015-2018 surveys that were much lower? Mm -hmm. Nagbago na po yung nupigura na yan, especially. Well, of course, we have to reference that in relation to uh, the campaign that was conducted by the previous administration, which has to be given also due credit. Uh, definitely, sir, the last survey of the Dangerous Drugs Board will speak for itself in regard to the reduction of the number of drug users uh, based on the independent survey that was commissioned by the DDB. I think that was placed at something like... Uh, I think it's been 2019 since the last survey. I think it is uh, like one, 1. 1.8 million. Mm. Uh, I think that was the last survey conducted. But again, sir, uh, I think the time is ripe again if the DDB will eventually conduct or commission another survey. But definitely, sir, we would attribute the reduction of the drug users again to the impact of the previous campaign, notwithstanding its imperfections. Uh, I'm sure it has its merits. So, and uh, well, uh, nakikita naman po yan in regard also to the interventions given uh, to the certain uh, individuals who were either drug users, who were eventually brought to the proper intervention through either community-based drug rehabilitation programs spearheaded by the DILG, or we have the, either the outpatient or the inpatient uh, interventions facilitated by the Department of Health. And then again, we also have the interventions given to the offenders of uh, classified as uh, offenders who were enticed to join the illegal drug trade for lack of any uh, viable means of livelihood. And these are uh, given different interventions through either the Balay Silangan or what its predecessor, the Bahay Pagbabago, and uh, the other intervention programs given by either the uh, public sector or even the church uh, in order to help them uh, come back or bounce back from the illegal drug trade or from being victims of the illegal drug trade.